Over the past 15 years, there has been a dramatic decline in the global burden of malaria. Progress includes a 37% drop in new malaria cases, a 60% drop in malaria deaths, and a 65% drop in deaths among children under 5. 10 countries that had malaria in 2000 are now malaria-free. Nearly 60 countries have reduced their malaria cases by 75% or more. The malaria target of the Millennium Development Goals has been achieved. Progress was made possible through a massive scale-up in effective malaria control tools. Mosquito nets have protected millions from infection, illness and death. Rapid diagnostic testing has enabled timely and appropriate treatment. And every day, artemisinin-based combination therapies save lives. But our journey is far from over. In 2015 alone, more than 400,000 people died of malaria. And there were 214 million new cases of the disease. Across Africa, one in four children is still not protected by mosquito nets or indoor residual spraying. And about half of pregnant women at risk of malaria do not receive a single dose of preventative treatment. Malaria is preventable and it is treatable. To accelerate action towards elimination, the World Health Assembly has approved a global technical strategy for malaria. The strategy shares the same timeline as the Sustainable Development Goals. It sets ambitious but achievable goals for 2030. Reducing malaria cases by at least 90%. Reducing malaria deaths by at least 90%. Eliminating malaria in at least 35 countries and preventing a resurgence of malaria in all countries that are malaria-free. To achieve these goals, global financing for malaria will need to triple from current levels, reaching $8.7 billion annually by 2030. With all partners united, we can defeat malaria and transform the health and livelihood of millions of people around the world.